Fortnite Chapter 3 has finally arrived and there are some insane secrets that Epic have hidden which completely change the way I look at this new chapter. Tilted Towers is secretly on the island and no one knows not to mention there's literally an ice monster lurking in the snow. So let's kick it off with something you maybe noticed, the secret pontoon boat. Okay, all the way back in Chapter 2 Season 3, there was one of the most overpowered secrets in Fortnite history hiding on the island. Every time you loaded into a match, a secret pontoon boat would appear far off the coast of the island, one that you could barely see on the mini-map. If you went to this boat back then, you would get a ridiculous amount of loot and chests and even a speedboat to get back to the map. And we never saw it again, until now. Yes, with Chapter 3 Season 1's new island, the pontoon boat has finally returned. If you have a good eye, you might be able to find it. It appears in random locations around the island and pretty much works in the exact same way it used to. Except for a few missing chests and stuff, this is still a super viable drop that no one knows about. But what is really creepy is a secret huge dinosaur. There is something absolutely terrifying lurking in the background of Chapter 3 and it has gone completely unnoticed. In the cover art for the season, it's filled with hidden details and easter eggs, but there is one thing that has gone over everyone's head. If you look at the forest behind the foundation, you can zoom in a lot and see what is the most terrifying looking dinosaur I have ever seen. It is literally bigger than the trees around it, so this could be one of the largest wildlife creatures we have seen in Fortnite, other than the caretakers. And it gets even better because there's also a secret ice monster. In the snowy mountains north of Greasy Grove, there are a few secrets, but by far the most interesting and hidden one is a small lip of snow near this mountain. It looks like any pile of snow at first, but when you get closer, you notice there's a hole in it, and it's making sounds. Yeah, that is definitely something breathing. We're all certain there's something sleeping under the snow, and once it melts, it'll be revealed. And well, it looks like this mystery might have already been solved. If you watch a Chapter 3 trailer, you'll notice a friendly face. Of course, I'm talking about Jerry. Now, Jerry technically isn't a game right now, but I'm willing to bet that it's the adorable animal sleeping underneath this pile of snow. And this cute creature is probably the child of the creepy-looking dinosaur from the cover art, so maybe it'll be a whole family. And it turns out it's not the only love thing that can be spotted under the ice, because OG Tilted is also frozen over. This ginormous patch of snow on the minimap looks really out of place, and there is a reason for it. If you look even closer at this huge chunk, you can kind of make out the outline of some buildings, and if you're a veteran player, you might even be able to realize that this fits perfectly with the one and only Tilted Towers. Yes, it looks like OG Tilted from Chapter 1 is finally coming back to the game. Fortnite confirmed secretly in the patch notes that the snow on the island will indeed be melting over time, which means OG Tilted could be a month away from appearing on the island. We have been waiting for this for years, and it still looks so good with Chapter 3 graphics. I mean, someone tell C-Day he could come back now, please. But while we sit back and wait for OG Tilted to be revealed, it's gonna take a little while. The snow is far from being completely melted. Don't worry, Chapter 3 is full of amazing secrets that nobody knows about, and that includes the lock secret. But now you probably explore the Chapter 3 island a little bit and notice that there are actually some vaults back in the game. They're usually around the 7 POIs and hidden away in secret rooms. And so you're probably also disappointed that you could only open these things if you bring along your friends. Sucks, right? But while we were playing the game, we found a super hidden secret that lets you open any vault you want without the need of any help. It turns out that you just need to find a 7th century that is roaming the nearby area and then down them. Once you've done that, just put them on your shoulders and make your way to the vault door. It should scan both of you at the same time and actually count it as a second player. And then boom, you got yourself an exclusive entry into a vault in a solos match. How insane is this? You could also do the same thing if you hire an NPC and bring them in the room with you. And speaking of two people, actually having teammates does give you benefits with the revive secret. Okay, something that went completely under the radar was a change in chapter three to the way that revives work. For years, the revive system has been the exact same. You get down, you lose health over time, and your teammate can pick you up. But chapter three has made a super healthy change in this system. No more fighting over who's gonna revive your down noob friend because now everyone can revive the same person. If your teammate gets down, you can revive them normally. But if you get a helping hand, aka a second teammate, they get revived 50% faster. And it gets even quicker with more people helping. Finally, we can now work together to help our friends up. But what nobody was expecting this season was the fact that Double Pump is back. And I'm not kidding, you might have been playing Chapter 3 and noticed that the new Striker Pump shotgun, it's not that good, okay? The timing between each shot is longer than anything we have ever seen before, and it just makes it useless at times. But fortunately, there's an insane secret that means with this gun, Double Pump is finally back. Yes, you could actually pair up two Striker Pump shotguns and it'll shoot faster than it would with just a single pump, even with the shotgun delay. That is how slow the shotgun is. It literally is quicker to Double Pump with the delay. So, if you want to use the pump, don't forget this incredible secret. Moving on, let's talk about these secrets of 
of the trees. Okay, we were all really excited over the brand new tree feature where some of the tall snowy trees can actually be cut down and they have physics? They fall into each other and can do damage to the surrounding areas, but because we've been distracted by that, no one is talking about the other incredible secret features of these new trees. Shockingly, it turns out that you could actually cut down the tree and if it lands on someone, it will completely insta-kill them. And then you can take your log, bring it to a river and use it as a boat. Just pickaxe it a few times and you will go flying. These trees are secretly the fastest vehicle in the entire game. And speaking of fast mobility, you have to know about the sliding ramp trick. Okay, something that is gonna take some getting used to is the brand new sliding feature. It's a game changing mechanic, but obviously we're gonna need a little time with it. One of the best ways to use it right now though is actually an overpowered secret. If you have a sky base and need to get down, or I don't know, you just need to rotate faster than anyone, you can pull off one of the coolest tricks in all of Fortnite. Just slide down a ramp and you can keep building as you go along. It is absolutely insane. But once you get back onto the ground, make sure to check out the secret cave system. There are a few huge mountains on the island and they look amazing with the chapter three graphics but some of these mountains are way more than what you see on the surface, especially the one north of Shifty Shafts. At first, it just looks like a regular old mountain, but if you get closer, you can break into the boarded off mine shaft and discover a secret cave system inside of this thing. It has a ton of chests and various loot, and it's like its own mini Shifty Shafts. Trust me, don't ever forget about this place. It is a treasure trove that nobody ever looks for. But even this place is not as hidden as the Secret 7 base. Okay, there are a ton of 7 outposts all over the island, but in the top right corner of the map, you could actually find a very unique version of them. In the basement of one of the buildings, there is a vault and a ton of audio recorders. It's here that you could actually listen back to all the audio logs we've been collecting around the island. You can also listen to them in order. It is a perfect little secret for storyline lovers and challenge collectors. But if we're speaking of the seven, there's one person we can't ignore and that is the foundation and a trick with him. Like I said, there's one guy on the island right now that is, he's frustrating to kill, okay? I've been trying to fight the foundation forever and we're bringing all of our best exotics and mythics and then I still die. He has thousands of health and those rocks he throws pack a punch. It doesn't need to go and waste it because there's a secret trick out there to defeating the foundation in five seconds. If you're trying to get his mythic, you are in luck. All you need to bring to the fight is a harpoon gun and well, that's it. All you gotta do is build high enough to where you can still reach him and then pull him all the way up to your height. If you do it right, the foundation will fall all the way to his death and boom, you saved yourself a gigantic headache. And the secrets get even more fun with the quad crasher secret. Okay, something we were all not expecting to see when we loaded into chapter three were quad crashers. They were just there. We had no idea they'd be coming back, but now that we can experiment with them, it turns out you can still do the classic quad crasher flying trick with them. Probably one of the best ways to get around the island in chapter three. But the secrets continue because if you find a quad crasher near Crackshot's cabin and the surrounding areas, you will actually come across an exclusive style. Yeah, for some reason they become Christmas themed and have custom designs on them. I mean, look at good Crackshot, but not as good as the record breaking contract. Trail. Let me tell you, the battle pass is filled with amazing cosmetics this season, especially Spider-Man and the Foundation. But while we're all sat there admiring these guys, there's something hidden away in the battle pass that nobody has discovered yet. It's a contrail called Crescent's Flame, and it turns out that this thing is actually record-breaking in that it's the first ever contrail to have multiple edit styles. So, you know, don't miss out on this one. It's a piece of history right here. But what's really interesting, though, is that only one NPC has special dialogue. Like, in last chapter, there was a lot of NPCs around the island, and almost all of them had it's on a secret dialogue. Basically, they'd say hidden messages to you depending on the skin you are wearing. But with the new chapter three comes a fresh start, apparently, as every single NPC on the island has had their secret dialogue removed. Except one, if you go to Cuddlepool over at Camp Cuddle, you can talk to her and she'll usually just ask you if you need her advice. But if you equip the Spider-Man skin and talk to her, she'll say this instead. Uh, it turns out Cuddlepool has a pretty vivid imagination. She also says, how's it going boss if you talk to her as Deadpool and ask to borrow your robot arms if you're wearing the cable skin. And that is it, she is the only NPC on the entire island with dialogue like this. And despite that, we have to talk about the secret collab. Okay, Fortnite's teasing an upcoming collaboration and is hiding it right under our noses. If you've been been trying to explore every nook and cranny of this island, you might have come across a concrete blockade that has a familiar looking logo on it. And if you know your games, you'll recognize this logo as the Gears of War symbol, teasing that a collab with them is intimate. You can even see the skins were secretly sneaked to the chapter three trailer. I mean, Epic are massive teases. But by far the coolest secret of all in the game right now is the web slinger secret. 
I think it's safe to say we were all pretty disappointed when we loaded into chapter 3 this week and looked all over for the new mythic weapon. I mean, in the trailer we could see people swinging around using the new mythic web slinger, so where is it? Well, Epic confirmed that it actually isn't releasing until December 11th, and so we kind of just accepted this and moved on with our day. But if you logged into Arena and drop on Greasy Grove, you could talk to an NPC and they will offer us the greatest deal of a lifetime. Early access to next week's web slinger for just 400 gold. Now, it's a shame Arena is so tough to farm for gold, but if you get it, you'll have an experience that not a single other player could have right now. I imagine by the time this video even goes live, probably already removed. And that are all the crazy secrets in Chapter 3 so far. Did you spot something we didn't? Well, let me know in the comments, please. Also, throw some video ideas down below, too. Thanks so much for watching, guys. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.